I'm Glenn Ridge with Wild Safari Africa. We're up here in Lapopo Province with Africa Expectation Safaris filming season two. What we're trying to do here, as we did in, in season one, is to show you exactly what's going on, how it happens, when it happens. So none of our shots are retakes. What you're seeing happens, yes, we might not get the animal on, on tape, but that's reality. So I really hope you guys enjoy our show. I'm Glenn Ridge, Wild Safari Africa. See you on planes. Last season on Wild Safari Africa, we were hunting at Thorndale Safari in the Eastern Cape of South Africa. Welcome to Season 2, Wild Safari Africa. I've just arrived in Johannesburg, South Africa. And we're meeting up with Adele from Hunter's Permits Africa. She assisted me with all the necessary paperwork I needed to bring my rifles into South Africa. I highly recommend that you do the same. I got my guns. Now we're heading north to Lapopo province in South Africa, where we will be meeting up with Craig. Good morning, South Africa. We're here in Lapopo province for season two, here in the dark hot. Come join us. We're going to have fun. Dirt Man is 170. Okay. So I can put this one up on the 100. Yeah, on the 100. <laughs> We're at the firing range checking my rifles and make sure my scopes are still on after the long flight. Always check your rifle and the scope after a long journey before going out hunting. They use nothing but barns. They they make their ammo and, and bullets are just, just great. <clears throat> They've never failed me. And what I have here is the uh, Vortex. Uh, it's the uh, 180 grain, 300 wind mag, the uh, TTS X boat tail. Uh, they're uh, TSX bullets. Man, that's what you want to hunt with. If you reload, use that bullet. If you buy factory, get the uh, the barns, you know, with the uh, TTSX. Now we're hot. Oh, so I gotta spin this. Has it got up or down? Yeah, it needs to go up. Uh, hold it. What I'm doing is, I don't want to get a firm grip on the rifle. I want the, the rifle to kind of, kind of lay in, in the, uh, the rest here. And I just want to use my finger to apply the pressure. That's why you got this backstop, which will take a lot of the uh, impact of the rifle going off. All right. 
So iron the hole. Oh man, dude. One more marker here. Fire in the hole. I could go down if I want to. But I think like that will be, so Not if bad. we get a, let's say 200 or 250 yeah, meter yeah. shot, then it will yeah, be. Yeah, it'll be good. I mean, with the larger animals, that's your, you know. Yeah. So. So, uh, so I'm good. All right, we're hot load. I was way over, I pulled my first shot. There we go. Second one was right on. Good. You want to shoot it? No, nah, it's fine. Sure? Yeah, I'm fine. Thank you. <laughs> River? All right. All right. Just to cock it. Keep your finger away from the trigger. And then get set up and... All right. You just put the center of the cross here where I want it to go. Yeah. Okay. You guys pray. <laughs> <laughs> I think he killed a bird because I see a dead bird on the side of the target. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing on the target. <laughs> okay, have a shot at it. Thanks, man. You're welcome. I think, Greg, you're right next to me, or right below me. That thing shoots good. We got the rifle sighted in, and so we're ready. Here we go on our first hunt. Come join us. You're with Wild Safari Africa. <laughs> As we were driving along, we spotted some blues, and they didn't spook. This should be a great stock. This is a nice, a nice blue. A lot of character and coloration. that we have a thing going on our animals the time we get back he's gonna hate me we are very competitive with our animals
All of a sudden the wind started to kick up and change direction on us. Remind me this evening to call them up and pay the wind toll. That way the wind will be out of favor. The wind kept on changing on us and the animals kept on trotting off. Spotted a lone Impala watching us. After my shot, the animal ran off. The animal ran off and we had a hard time finding him in the tall grass, so we had to call in a tracker. You have to hand it to these trackers. Before long, he found the wildebeest in the tall grass.
it is hot out here. And we're in the first part of the fall. Great, appreciate it. Thank it's you. It's a pleasure. Great, great hunt. We came out this morning. Actually, we were going to come up on top of the, the mountain over here, kind of glass to, to find uh, the blue wildebeest. And uh, we're driving along, and all of a sudden, boom, they're off to our right. And and uh, they started trying away, and we got out and started our uh, stalk on them. Uh, had a little difficulty through the, through, the, through the hunt with the wind, kept on moving, changing. We'd, Get, get up onto them, we could hear them, we could smell them, then the wind would change and they would trot on off. But we stayed uh, uh, stayed on them and finally it got to a point where the lead bull got, I think, got pissed off at us. He wanted to know who, what was following him and he came out in front of us and I squeezed and he, he tried it off and it took us about 30, 30, 40 minutes to find him, we, we came up on him. And he's, he's, a, he's a beautiful old uh, wildebeest. Uh, that was a good shoot. That was good, yes. Another good hunt with Wild Safari Africa. Come give us a call. He'll put you on him. We're gonna load up. Get out of this hot sun and relax. So, talk to you guys later. Enjoy. Bye. Bye. Back in the fall of 2019, we had a tragedy. A good friend of ours, River Leask, was killed in the driving accident in Port Elizabeth. We lost a dear friend and colleague, taken away from us way too soon. We know he'll always be with us in the bush and we'll always feel his presence. River, you're in a better place and we miss you. Next time on Wild Safari Africa. the elusive serval, an African wildcat.